Hello guys and welcome to another UK Card Club card review video. Now today I was going to be reviewing the limited edition series 2 um, but <laughs> I took two of these decks out of my collection off the side. One was open, this one. One was closed. I decided I'll just review the open one. It saves me opening a second one. There's no point. I looked inside and I remembered that actually this is not the limited edition series two. Now what this is, this is actually a deck that I ordered off of eBay because I like the idea of it. It's actually a magic trick. So I won't explain the trick to you because obviously it ruins the magic. But this deck comprises of a, I'll show you. It's probably a lot easier. It's gonna be quite, probably quite a long video. So this deck, is made up of there's there's four cards that are the same uh, somewhere. So this deck is made up of jack of clubs, but they are, it is from an all manner of decks. Now most of these, if not all of them, are made by the United States Playing Card Company. So I thought, do you know what? Instead of opening the other one and reviewing that now, um, I would actually go through and show some of these jack of clubs off so we're going to get straight in because otherwise we're going to be here forever I really like this it's very nice i'm not going to comment too much about the backs because if i then go on to review the actual decks that these cards come from then you already know my opinion boring but i just wanted to show off some of the difference in faces These two are very similar. These are from the Artifice deck, I think. It's purple, Artifice, and green. Pretty nice. Very cool. Again, these all look relatively similar, these two especially. So this one, that's why it looks familiar. And these two will be different Artifice decks. So we've got the white Artifice and blue. this deck so I won't be reviewing it so my opinion amazing I thought that was a standard face then see these are the only cards that aren't matching in the jack of uh, jack of clubs um, and they, they are part of the trick so these are very nice very cool. So I'll move them out of the way. I'm going to make a thumbnail with all of these in it. Very cool inverted deck. It's like a metallic rider back. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Pink rider back. These are standard faces, <coughs> which is why they're bundled together. So there's a lot of rider backs, various colours.
Now obviously this deck's relatively easy to create. Because you can do this by buying 52 decks of cards and just taking to making a whole deck of Ace of Spades, a whole deck of Ace of Clubs, a whole deck of Jack of Clubs, a whole deck of So I'm presuming the eBay seller did that. This is the only card that's actually from the Limited Edition Series 2. So it looks similar to. Oh, because the problem with them all being there. The Jack of Clubs. Yeah. So they're almost the same back, slightly different. And that shows in the faces, different colours. Um, I think this is the Nautic back. Something a little different. Guardians or Shadow Masters. Trying to get to focus then, but I've actually realised the faces are pixelated. Ooh. So, spread these out a little bit. Decent spread for a thumbnail. Yeah, so I just wanted to show this off, actually. I'm uh, really pleased with it. It's very nice. It's very cool to have. Also, it'd be a good way for people on a budget to experience multiple decks. Because a lot of the time, I, I mean, I collect these for their artwork, you know? For the, the functionality of a deck of cards doesn't need to go past like a red or blue standard bicycle deck. A red or blue standard bicycle deck will function in exactly the same way as a um, you know any any other deck but um, you know I love card art I love you know the magic behind some of these um, you know so <clears throat> part of the reason why I collect cards and the fact that they're so different they're so unique um, and people have put a lot of time and effort into creating beautiful decks of cards beautiful art it's it's just amazing to look at so i think this deck cost me about 12 pounds or something along those lines from ebay um but i'm sure they'll have international sellers everywhere that will make these desk decks up and sell them on um but it's just a, a really cool way to experience a lot of different cards art without having to buy a lot of different decks so yeah just short and shall say short and sweet coming up to the 10 minute mark but yeah i just wanted to show that guys um might interest some of you um but yeah thanks for watching and uh i'll catch you next time while i'll actually be reviewing something <laughs> as i didn't really review this deck but yeah i hope you enjoyed it uh Take care, guys.